in a taste of the city. The highly anticipated grand opening of the new Drago's restaurant is tomorrow in Bossier City. I got a sneak peek at what customers can expect. The place that invented the Charbroil Oyster opens Tuesday at Margaritaville in Bossier City. Drago's seafood restaurant serves up a dozen oysters and more. It's the single best bite of food in town. Take butter, garlic, parsley, cheese. You put that on a Louisiana oyster, baby, you can put that on a flip flop and it's going to be good. The staff was ready to share a variety of sample dishes for a soft opening attended by local officials and the media. Dishes include my favorite, probably Florida Lee shrimp. It's a fried shrimp and it's got a roasted red pepper aioli with peanuts and peppers. Dishes like boudin from Louisiana and, and we mix that with our beautiful shrimp and, and, and do a boudin stuffed shrimp which is outstanding. We do crawfish. We do a crawfish meatball uh, that's to die for. Uh, and yes, we serve steaks. We serve alligator. Uh, you know, our alligator tacos are awesome. Our gumbos. I'll put our gumbo up against anybody. Tommy Savanovic is the second generation owner because Drago was his dad. He was a Croatian refugee. Before for opening up a restaurant that's grown to seven locations. He passed away six years ago, but his legacy lives on. I mean, he loved hospitality. He loved taking care of people. He loved having fun. Um, you know, I went and saw him yesterday at the cemetery to let him know that, hey, we're doing this. Uh, I can tell you right now, my dad's with me today, and he's here looking over us, and he's got a big smile on his face, very proud. Tommy now runs each location along with his mom, with the goal to serve great seafood in a fun dining environment. Cooking it the right way and, and, and just serving it and watching people be happy, that's what we're all about. Oh, and those oysters, they were so good. And the bread pudding for dessert was also to die for. The grand opening of Drago's is tomorrow inside Margaritaville. You can visit their website to see the times and menu items. We also have an in-depth article on our website about the history of Drago's in Louisiana. That's on KTLnews.com.